Hey guys, over the last month I've been reading through the Gospel of Mark and just loving, um, loving all the moments that God is using this Gospel that I've read so many times before to speak to me and to encourage me um, in this really unique season that we're all facing. And um, I find myself getting stuck on uh, different verses as he speaks to me, his encouragement for the day. And I wanted to share with you something that has been living with me over the last few days. Um, and it's from chapter 13 in the Gospel of Mark. I'll just read a couple of verses and then tell you what he's speaking to me about. Jesus is speaking to his disciples and he says, Be on guard, keep awake, for you do not know when the time will come. It is like a man going on a journey when he leaves home and puts his servants in charge, each with his work, and commands the doorkeeper to stay awake. Therefore, stay awake, for you do not know when the master of the house will come, in the evening or at midnight, or when the rooster crows, or in the morning, lest he come suddenly and find you asleep. What I say to you, I say to all, stay awake. Now, the context of these verses is that Jesus is speaking to his disciples about when Jesus is going to come back, the second coming of Christ. And, and that is, the, you know, that's the immediate context of the verses. I'm not saying anything against that. Having said that, God often uses verses of scripture where Holy Spirit pounces on those verses and speaks to us uniquely in our circumstance uh, in a way that's slightly out of context from those verses. And for me in this season, God's been speaking to me about staying awake. And um, I want to, won't go into all the thoughts about uh, why I think Corona is happening and uh, whether it's from God or not. It's not from God, but anyway, oh, I won't go into that conversation right now. But what I do think that God is amazing at doing is using um, moments where the enemy has a very clear intention. Uh, God is good at using those moments, flipping them around and speaking to his body and mobilizing them for a very unique purpose. And I believe he's doing that in this day and age. Um, I believe one of the intentions of the enemy with the coronavirus and with lockdown is not only to cause division and separate people, but is to almost lull people into being asleep, is to bring a real sense of depression uh, worldwide where people stop doing things and slow down. And really, I believe he's trying to um, make people fall asleep in, in this time of corona, spiritually asleep, just pe inviting people uh, to constantly use um, uh, ways of escaping, um, watching TV copious amounts of time a day. It's not bad to watch TV necessarily, but I believe the enemy's intention in this is to basically trigger all of us to use escape mechanisms rather than being present in the moment and being awake and alert to what God is saying in this day and age. And so God really used this verse, this last verse, what I say to you, I say to all, stay awake this week for me. Jesus speaking to me, and I believe speaking to many in the body, stay awake. The intention of the enemy might be to make us less present, might be to just lull us all into some sense of not really being aware and alert to what's going on. But the intention of God in this moment is so much greater than that. And he's speaking to you and he's speaking to me today, stay awake awake. And notice the staying awake in that context, it wasn't that they were to work harder. It was just that they were to continue doing that which they'd already been assigned to do. Now, by this, I don't mean ignore all that the government or people are, you know, people in authority are telling you to do, but there's plenty that you and I can keep doing from our homes that is in line with the faith-filled assignment that God has given us even if in this moment for us, it's just about praying and fasting for those assignments. So I wanna to say to you, keep going, keep being alert, keep making sure that you are awake in this moment. Uh, brothers and sisters in Christ, this is not a moment for us to get sleepy and for us to drop the ball and for us to engage with the narrative of the enemy, which is basically ride this out. Don't do anything, just bide your time, wait, just set up your safe bunkers at home and just sleep your way through this. For whatever else this is worth, don't sleep your way through this. God has an agenda and an intention, even with the disastrous setting that the enemy has um, 
brought about in this virus. And he's saying to you and me today, stay awake, keep going with your assignment, pray about your assignment. So deep seeds of faith into your assignment. Uh, if you can't physically go and do your assignment outside, uh, so deep in prayer into that assignment, because this is a moment for the body to be fully awake, because God is going to speak to us destiny shaping words in this moment. And if you and I fall asleep in this moment, we will miss out on the voice of God interrupting the narrative of the world and the enemy. And so I hope that encourages you. Stay awake, keep your eyes open, people of God, God is up to something in this day.